Hi everybody, this is Merav and today I'm going to talk about uh, the feature called Keywords. So let's go and click on Keywords on the left, or you can also click here. And as you can see, I have a list of all the keywords on my site, and I can see exactly what's going on with these keywords on Google, and also what is the change if the Google rank is going up or down. In this case, it's sorted automatically by Google rank. So it's showing me first all the keywords that are number one on Google, which is nice. And then I can also see, for example, this, core, uh, this uh, keyword uh, is right now number one, and it's gone up four uh, spots since the last time it checked it. And that's why I have the green arrow, which is good. You want to have those green arrows. Another thing that you can do is you can click to view it on Google and for example it's it's useful uh, first of all to see what's going on with the keyword for example with your competition to see how they're doing they might be doing better on a certain keyword so it's good to go go ahead and view this keyword on uh, Google so that's going to open in a new window and uh, you can see that uh, right now it's number one that's why it's showing right here Another thing that you can do is you can see how many times this keyword is showing on uh, the different articles. If you click on it, it will s uh, show you a list of all the articles and uh, it will allow you to remove it or edit whatever you edit it, whatever you want to do. Another very uh, useful feature is uh, sticky. There's always some keywords that are more important to you than others. So what you want to do is you want to make them sticky so that you can sort it and show only the sticky ones. For example, I already uh, made some keywords sticky. All I have to do is just click on the, the icon here and that will change it to sticky. If I want to make uh, quite a few keywords together sticky, I can just highlight them and then click sticky and I can also unsticky them really easily. So let's see what's going on if I, if I choose only sticky. That's going to show me only the important keywords for me, the ones that I made sticky. So let's see what I get. So I have about 80 keywords that are the most important to me, and I can get a really good overview of what's going on uh, with, uh, with each of one of them on Google. I can see, for example, a Joomla survey module has uh, gone down two, two slots on Google. That's not good. And this one went down, and but this one went up. So that's I can get an overview and kind of refine it, make some changes uh, in the text, uh, make some changes in the title meta tag to get the result that I want. So that's a really, really uh, cool feature to have this stickiness and be able to control only the keywords that you want to control. On top, you have a bunch of ways to filter. Uh, the sticky was just one of them. This box, it's going to allow you to filter by the name of the article. The filter is just for the name of the article, but the keyword search is by the name, by the keyword itself. So just enter the keyword here, and it will search here in this field, in the keyword field. The filter here, it's going to search in the name of the article that you don't even see here. For example, if the name of the article is a Joomla magazine, and I will enter the word magazine here, it will show me only articles uh, with that word, and I'll be able to see their keywords. Here we go. Another thing that you can sort by is uh, sort by by section, and by different categories, and by author, and by, again, you can sort by menu items, and Mossets Tree, and Sobi, and Magazine, and Digistore, and be able to see exactly the keywords, and how you're doing in Google, and also make them sticky. And of course, you can also show to uh, decide to show only published or unpublished or archived uh, items. So this is it about this uh, keywords uh, manager uh, feature of iJumla SEO. It's extremely powerful, and I have to tell you that if you had to go and buy this uh, kind of capabilities on the software outside Joomla, it would cost you anything between fifty to two hundred and fifty dollars a month, and they would also limit your uh, your keywords. Uh, so it's uh, very important to know that there's a big value to it and just uh, a really easy way to monitor what's going on with your keywords on your website. One last thing I want to talk about is 
where these keywords are coming from. Uh, there's two options and I'm going to show you both of them. I'm going to go to settings, config. Now if you see at the bottom, all the way to the bottom, it says keyword phrase and source. Right now it's the keywords meta tag. And really what I want to use is title meta tag because it's much more important. So I'm going to choose title meta tag and I'm going to save it. And from now on, it's only going to work on the title meta tag and not on the keywords meta tag. Although in my case, I usually have exactly the same thing on the title and the keywords meta tag. So you make the choice, but I recommend using the title meta tag. Okay, so this is it about how to use the keywords uh, feature of iJuma SEO. Uh, I hope you found it uh, useful. Thanks so much and I'll see you around.